Okay, so now we are on step nine, the balance sheet worksheet. I'm sorry, the balance sheet chart. So if you select, you're going to select data. And because the heading is added, the data selection, oh, I see an error. Let's fix that. Remember, I said for me, formatting is an ongoing thing, so I always go astray. I apologize. So when you select your data for the balance sheet worksheet, I'm sorry, the chart, in number nine, there are two important parts. First of all, you need to hold down control instead of shift when you select these. So let's select these first. Now, let's don't do that. Okay, click here. Hold down control. Select that. Hold down control. Slide it across. Release. Now, while holding down control first, select these. So what that does is it separates the data. The best way I can explain that is it would be like putting a comma in if you were writing the formula in the formula bar. It takes you to the next step. So let's insert recommended charts always, all charts, column chart. We'll go to 3D stacked. Click that. Look at that. Looks pretty darn good. Okay, let's say okay. Nice. So we could have moved the chart to a new sheet or we can do it later. That's your choice. Select data. So we're going to want to edit these you should have something looking like this. If you click on this one and edit, you can go right here and select. Now this, I'm just holding down my mouse, my left mouse key, and dragging to those three. Hit enter, and there we have it. That's exactly what we want. Let's say okay and look at the chart. The most time efficient way to do this is to just scroll through quick layout until you find something that looks good. Now, look how busy that is. It's very busy and that's what we're trying to avoid. So I actually would recommend that we put a legend in this chart. And I did see on my past assignments that there is one that we put a legend in. This data would just not be well represented with all the busyness up there. So click layout five. Perfect. Now we can fix the things the way. So this, we want to work on the legend, select the data. And where it says blank, let's just get rid of that. So highlight that, remove. Nice. Perfect, in fact. I think now's a good time to move the chart just because having the data so close throws me off. So I'm going to say asset, column, asset, 3D, stacked, column, chart. When we move it to a new sheet, it doesn't look quite as busy. So let's get rid of this legend. Let's go back to quick layout and see. That's good. I might want that around the bottom. That's better. Oh, perfect. Actually, perfect. Puts everything right exactly where we want it. That's layout four. I would change the text color to white, like we did on the previous chart. Let's make it 12. And they're already placed pretty pretty well. Let's see, does it see format painter? Does it work? I double clicked on format painter. Quickly double click. Don't forget these. Now, I might, I'm going to unclick Format Painter. I might pull these out simply because it is so little. 
stick out then you see move them huh It's not letting me move it. I don't want to struggle with it because this is taking far too long. So let's leave them. These should be bold and they should be reversed. So let's switch them. There we go. We don't want them to be white because they're on a white background, obviously. So if you go to text options, let's see. We don't want any of those. Let's just go to home. Make them bold. That makes them bold. And let's make them 16. Nice. Very nice. Looks great, actually. Grid lines are not... Uh, yes, since we have this over here, let's make sure that we have grid lines. Add chart element grid lines, and let's say primary minor horizontal, no, primary major horizontal, there we go, nice, let's save it, oh, we need to do the chart title, and your chart title should match the previous charts above chart yeah let's do above chart and then copy and paste from here oh true why that control a let's see here and then I just shift arrow Control C, go back to our asset column, click in here in the text, home, control A, control V. Now, we don't want to call it financial performance, we want to call it assets. So I'm holding shift end and just type assets. And spell it correctly is my advice. That's exactly what we need. Oh, thumb should be spelled correctly. Nice, let's move to the next one. Step 11 says to do exactly the same thing, but to do it for liabilities. So we will control, select these, release, hold down control, select these, not the totals. That right there. Release. Insert. Recommended charts. All charts. 3D stacked column. Okay. Well, let's move the chart. New sheet. And we will call it liability. Also, I recommend you spell it correctly. I don't know that we are going to have enough space. not. So, that being the case, 
I would say we need to take 3D Stacked out of this title, but if we take it out of this one, we've got to take it out of Assets as well. So let's take it out of Asset before we forget. Just double click on the title. And we'll just backspace past these. So asset column chart, liability column chart, excellent. Since we already have the last thing copied as the chart title, let's just do that now. Control A, Control V, and change from, spell correctly, and just say Shift End Liabilities. I actually am not liking the size of any US dollars. It looks a little too large to me. So let's see here, we've got 18, 18, they're all 18. So whatever you choose to do with your title, it should be the same on all the sheets. So like 18 and then shift end, just click down one. And then on this one, go click home, shift end, go down two. Oh, it makes it 11. That might be not good. Let's make it 12. And we're on Calibri. I want. I, I will double check. Uh, shift in. I will double check at the end of this assignment. Make sure that the font to the entire assignment is correct. That's good. Now we just have to edit these. And select data, so balance sheet, and these. I'm holding shift. Okay. Perfect. Say okay. And let's, since those are highlighted, let's just go to home and make them bold and bigger. Nice. Now we just need to edit this. We need to take out the blank, just like we did before. We could have done it all at the same time. My error. Remove. Nice. So let's add the data labels here. I don't want to format series. I want to add data label. Click. Data label. Oh, sorry. Click data label. On that one series. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's an easier way to do that. At this point, I'm so frustrated with this with charts that I'm sticking with that. Let's say and make them all 12 like we did before. And I believe if we say we can, I thought there was one where we could make it the model, but we can do this. Double click Format Painter. Didn't work. Let's try again. Double click Format Painter. And click Format Painter. We should be done. Let's look. Oh, title. Where did the title go? Hmm. Okay. Um, control A, Control V. Shift End. Liabilities. Correct this. And let's graduate it. So that's 18. So now this one, Shift End. Make 16, 
on this one. Um, um, shift end. Let's make 14. Again, we just have to make sure they're consistent, so make sure you double check before you turn your sheet in, or your workbook in. Shift end. Let's make this 12 in italic. It is italic. Perfect. That looks good. Let's see that whole thing. That's good. I'm saving it. On to the next step. 